Hi from Kangaroo Island again, Sue McCarthy, lovely to be with you. We're in a sauna. A lot of people have saunas in their homes but really don't know how to use them well. And a lot of people don't understand the therapeutics of a sauna. A sauna, when you begin to heat, allows you to perspire. And when that perspiration leaves your body, 60% of it is waste commodity coming from the human body. Things like acids and toxins and ureas and yeast, all sorts of things and certainly acids. So today, while we're in the sauna, we have three things happening. The first is all of our veins and our ligaments are dilating. So they're relaxing down and feeling soothed. Secondly, our skin is warming and that will encourage better skin commodity, get better skin elastin, and so then it will release the perspiration much more quickly. And third, it's a very quiet place. It's like a little hub, a cocoon, so you can think things through. So it has its own form of meditation. I call it the gap and many things are thought through and answers are resolved. Overall, your heart, your skin, your blood flow slows down. So it improves your blood pressure, it allows your mind to be relaxed and it truthfully, love. there's a lovely feeling with that soothing heat on your body. Now, if you want to activate while you're in a sauna, the best way is with a body brush. So now myself and my client are going to pick up the brush and we're going to talk you through how it is used. We start with the hands and we do all of the fingers in circular round motions. When working the hand, it's the finest place to start because there's 20 times more nervous activity in your hands than any other part of your body. So therefore, they're always drawing energy. So good to look after them. And it's the reason, one of the reasons they age so fast. Then we continue on. Once having done the palm and all of the fingers and the back of the hand, we do circular motions up to the elbow going right through the forearm and to the side of the forearm and then under the forearm. Then we spend time around the elbow. The elbow is a draining area for your lymphatic from your thyroids and throat. It can get very, very dirty and hold a lot of acid. Just continue to brush. Then go right up into your shoulders. Circular motions going around your arm. Very good. And now we go down to the feet. We brush the feet nice and strong through the toes over the surface of all these flange areas. And the flange areas indicate to you the strength of your feet. They are the lines from your toes. When there is not any flanges visible, you have an enormous amount of fluid on your feet. So you might suffer with gout. You might suffer with very sore and strained feet. Then come on up over the calf, right up to your knee. Go to the front, working your bones, then the insides. Make sure you really scrub your knees. This is the best tool if you do have sore knees or if injury has made your knees not so good. This allows all acid to eliminate. And then going right up to the outer of your thigh, to the top where the quadricep muscle is. And of course into the inner of the groin and the thigh so as you have a much smoother line in that area. You don't hold a lot of fatty waste and cellulite. There we go. I think doing the rest of the body is more of a personal choice. And of course, you just use circular motions and you can do every part of your body, even including your face and your throat. These areas truly need cleansing and this is a wonderful way to do that. Thank you for being very attentive. 
please go and buy yourself a very good quality skin or body brush. Make sure it's made of cactus, sisal or good vegetable bristles. Thank you for listening and I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.